What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a Trevenant Trick Room team on the Regulation E ladder. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. This team right here was created by Pokeberm. Huge shout out to Pokeberm. If you guys want to go check out this team a little bit more in depth or get the Poke page for the squad, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. Pokeberm's channel will be down there. But this team features a lot of standard Pokemon for Trick Room. You got Indeedee, you got Ursula Luna, and then you're also rocking out with Torkoal. But a Pokemon to set the Trick Room is going to be Screamtail. You can set up Screamtail with Trick Room and go in with Torkoal as the lead. Protect Torkoal. Have Screamtail pop Trick Room and then set up Reflect Slate screens behind Torkoal, allowing it to just absolutely do a lot of work with this team. But our first Pokemon we're going to talk about is going to be Indeedee in that top left corner, another Trick Room setter for the squad and a nice support Pokemon for this team. It's got Psychic Surge and the Cobra Ray, rocking out with Dazzle Gleam, Follow Me, Trick Room, and Protect. Second slot is going to be Ursula, and you guys already know the deal with this Pokemon, top tier within the Trick Room with the Guts and the Flame Orb as its item and ability. It's got Headlong Rush, Facade, Rock Slide, and Protect. We got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu in our third slot with Unseen Fist and the Assault Vest, Rock and Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and Poison Jab. Fourth slot is going to be the reason why I picked to showcase this team today. It is going to be Trevenant, one of my favorite Pokemon. Love its design, love its typing, and it's got Harvest and the Citrus Berry as its item and ability. It's got Horn Leech for stab damage and HP recovery, Leech Seed for some more HP recovery, Ally Switch to protect ally Pokemon, and last but not least, it has Protect to protect itself. Screamtail is in our fifth slot. Like I said, it is a great Trick Room setter, but on top of that, it's holding Light Clay with Reflect and Light Screen to set up those screens. Love this Pokemon, love it so much, especially with the support move set, and it also has Dazzling Gleam for its lonesome hitting move. Final slot is going to be Torkoal, a great Pokemon for weather control and a great special attacker within the Trick Room. It's got Drought and the Heat Rock as items, so the Drought actually lasts longer, and it's rocking Eruption, Heat Wave Protect, and Earth Power, a normal moveset for Torkoal that has been so strong in the meta as of recently. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Trevenant Trick Room team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Indeedee and Armourouge team, featuring two very cool Pokemon, Umbreon and Empoleon. They also got Roar Moon and Urshfu for the final two. Who should I play? How should I lead this one? I definitely want to set Trick Room, right? I mean, they do have Indeedee and Armourouge, which could be. A little bit of a problem for us, but I might just go Screen Tail alongside with Torkoal because I could protect. I could pop Trick Room at that point. I could really get driving, and I kind of like that the best. So I'm gonna go these two. I'm gonna bring Trevenant, and I'm gonna bring Ursa Luna again. Just two big time Trick Room Pokemon. I think we can just set Trick Room up and kind of get thriving with this one. I'm a little scared of the Roar and Moon, especially if they lead it, because it can just terrestrialize and kind of get after us that way. But I think Screamtail bulkiness, it's special defense bulkiness as well, with the uh, Proto Synthesis can really just help us out bulk shots and really help us get after it. They do have Empoleon, which would be super effective onto uh, Screamtail, but at that point, I could just Terrastalize and just try to get off Trick Room. So that's going to be the focus for Screamtail. Pop the Trick Room, protect the Torkoal, and then set up screens with uh, Screamtail. I think that's going to be pretty, pretty solid, because if we have Trick Room Pokemon who are usually, their stats are amazing all around besides speed. So in Trick Room, they really thrive. So put them behind screens, they're going to be even better. But we will see who they lead. Kind of hoping not in DD Armourouge, but I think it's going to be that. No, it's going to be Umbreon in Armourouge. Okay. And from here, yeah, I think just a simple Protect here. I think just a simple Protect from Torkoal and Trick Room can come out and about. Lovely. Lovely. So we'll go Trick Room. We'll just Protect. And the next turn, we might just want to Earth Power down the armor, right? It'd be rather annoying, but yo, look at Screen Tail. It looks so funny. <laughs> it looks so funny. We're kind of hoping they're not canceling out Trick Room because that could be rather annoying. He's going to Calm Mind Boost up. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I understand. Special Attack Boost looking a little scary. But at the same time, he's going to go for the Snarl, which is totally fine. Because Screen Tail's not really here to attack. Screen tail is not right here. So we pop the trick room. I might just want to earth power into that. Into that armor. 
but right now I'm gonna set up a Lich Queen. And I might just... Do I erupt here? I mean, he might have Flash Fire, but I want to do as much damage as I can to that Umbreon, right? Umbreon's a slight issue. I mean, he would get Flash Fire boost, which could be annoying. But I have Pokemon like Ursula in the back, and kind of just to kind of deal with it. So you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go up here. So he ends up withdrawing Umbreon. Smart little play here on the withdrawing Umbreon. Hopefully, go into a special attacker. That would be lovely. Yeah, it's gonna be Indeedy. That's fine. Terrain out and about. I think he just wants to go for an expanding force, which makes the most sense. But I'm gonna erupt here. You don't have Flash Fire, which is huge. And we get off some big time damage. Big time damage, critting onto that armor. And now we get off that light screen. Massive. So set up these trick and Pokemon behind screens. This is gonna work wonders for us. Expanding force comes out here. I know your calm mind boosted. I know you got terrain, and that's still doing a bit a bit much damage that I don't really like. So in the back end, I would think you would potentially have Urshifu. Um, that is definitely a possibility, but you know what? I'm gonna gleam here and just drop a heat. Actually, I'm gonna earth power it and look to just get rid of the launch for sure. If you wanna go into follow me, which would be a smart play, we should still be able to KO, but earth power is gonna fly through and just not finish you off. Leave you on one! Get out of my face with that. And you have weakness policy. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's perfect. Everything's perfect. Luckily, gleam's coming out here. And it's KO in the armor. Awesome. <laughs> That's huge. That's huge. We need to get rid of him. So I wonder what indeed he's going for. Are you going to cancel that trick room? No, you're just going to stick with the Psy Shock. And you're going to go after Screamtail, who's absurdly bulky here. Insanely bulky, which we love. And now they're going to throw out the next Pokemon. They're going to go back into Umbreon. And at this point, we're going to get this Reflect off. And I'm just going to go for Heat I can do as much damage as I can because I think they're gonna KO the Torkoal at this uh on this turn. With like a foul play or something. And then we get out Trevenant, and I can potentially just start setting up Bleach Seeds, which I would really like. I would really like that. And you're just gonna yawn. Alright, so you're leaving Torkoal on the field, which is I think a big mistake. You have screens. I like the screens. I really, really like the screens. So, how many turns left the trickling? Let's give a quick peek. We have, oh my lord, look at everything going on here. We got seven turns in Reflect, five turns in Light Screen, one turn in Drowsy, two turns in Second Terrain, one turn left in Trick Room, and we got four turns of Sunlight. There's just so much going on right now. So, I'm just going to Heat Wave. I'm just going to Dazzle Gleam. I'm going to take my last turn in Trick Room and finish off this immediately. Beautiful. Lovely. So, Screamtail is going to go to sleep, which... Kind of annoying, maybe I should have swapped it. And he's gonna foul play and he's gonna keep going after Screen I don't I just don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind you going after Screen Tail. He's gonna go to sleep. We still have Torkoal for a turn. And he's gonna bring out their final poop. Which if I had the guess would probably be Roaring Moon. They're saving Terra for that. They wanna get after him. And no, it's gonna be Urshifu. It is going to be Urshifu. So from here. I would love to just try to pop into the circle. That would benefit us the most. And just go for a heat wave, I guess. <laughs> but Urshu's going to come out here. He's probably going to Thrasilize, right? He's going to look to get off as much damage as possibly can onto my Torkoal. Probably going for Surge Strikes. Which would be the smart play. Because Surge Strikes hits through the screens. And he get a lot of work done on Torkoal. I might actually be able to KO it even in the sun. This thing hits like a goddamn truck. So, Surge Strikes is going to come out here. Let's see. Actually, Torkoal's already low HP. He's dead. Man. He's dead, no problem. Actually, we would have survived that pretty handily. Real handily. In the last one. So, now I have uh, Trevenant, who I think we're going to bring out here. And I think I'm just going to Thrasilize it, right? Oh, you Moonlight. Oh, you little biscuit. <laughs> Yo, look at this thing. He said, give me your HP back. Umbreon's just a pester. How much, how much HP are you going to get back? Absurd amount. That's an absurd amount. So terrain is gone. They can use first turn priority moves. I'm just gonna go into Trevenant here. Trevenant seems to be the play here. I can just horn leech, and he's not gonna close combat me because I am ghost type. But I am also going to. Do I just stay my typing? I mean, foul play is looking real scary here. Foul play is looking real scary. Do I just stay this typing? Or do I terrasize in the water? I'm gonna Thrasilize. 
I don't want that fat boy coming across here doing doing some ridiculous damage for no reason. Yeah, we're gonna terrasize. I don't even think Trevenant is going to be attacking, or uh, Urshfu is going to be attacking my Trevenant. I can see the foul play coming across, but I just don't see Urshfu going for a close combat because I'm Ghost type or a Surgeon Strikes because I'm uh, Water type. Yeah, he's going to end up Surgeon Strikes. Green Tail. <laughs> Green Tail is just the bulkiest of bulks, dude. Oh my lord, the amount of bulk it's getting, absurd. And the amount of HP it has 222, is absurd. So there's the foul play. Good terror choice on our end. We're going to be able to horn each here, do some big time damage, and get back a ton of HP. And can you wake up Screamtail and just pop the Trick Room so we can say night night to the scheme? Screamtail. Screamtail. You're better than that. So, from here, we're just going to go for another Trick Room, and we'll just horn each yet again. It just seems simple. So, I might lose Pokemon, but they just cancel battle, and Trevenant Trick Room team thrives out in match number one. Second match is on its way, and great start for us. We got rocking out with Trevenant in match number one, grabbing us a win. Everything looked pretty good, but we're going up against a Farigarath and what's that Pokemon? Iron Hands, kind of Trick Room team, right? They have Heatran alongside with Reggie Draco and the Tornadus. Great combo right there, and then they got Ogre Pond, the Water Ogre Pond, which is powerful all around. It can be used for support, follow me, or it can just hit like a truck with its Ivy Cudgel. But um, I could see them leading. I could definitely see them leading Reg Draco. So I'm going to go into my fairy type Pokemon right here. Love your little Scream Tail. We love this Pokemon. And on top of that, do I lead Torkoal? Or do I lead like a Pokemon maybe like Trevenant? I mean, Fake Out's looking a little scary. But I'm going to lead Trevenant here. I think Trevenant could be solid. I can maybe set up Leech Seed to get that cooking. That could be pretty solid for us. So I'm going to go Trevenant. I am also going to go in with... Uh... Screamtail, and then Ursaluna and Urshifu. Again, I like having Urshifu, considering it's going to be strong when Trick Room does end, and at the same time, if Trick Room is up, we can just hit hard with something. Punch. So, it, wor it works both ways. It works really strong both ways. But we'll see. I'm going to try to maybe set up lead Seeds here. I think Harvest with lead Seeds going on with the Citrus Berry, just a constant stream of HP, and then potentially using, like, Horn Leeches, or maybe setting up screens. Just could be great. Could definitely be good. But I could definitely protect Trevin here. I'm hoping they're not going into a fake out user. I don't think they're going to because we do have Infi on the team. But we'll see. They could go Tornadus here. Tornadus with the taunt could be. Oh, that could that could get ugly. That can get ugly. Tornadus with the taunt could get real ugly. And I'm kind of I'm scared of that. I th I feel like it's gonna happen now. I definitely feel like it's gonna happen. Tornadus coming out. He's gonna taunt my stream tail. And we're going to have a problem. It's coming. It's coming. We know. We're, we're still going to try. Hmm. Still going to try. Still going to try for this trick mirror. And I can ally switch. Doesn't ally switch go first? It does go first. You know what? We're going for it. I'll sacrifice Trevenant all day to get off the trick room. I'll do it all day. I'll do it all day. The good old ally switch could come in clutch for us. I mean, we might sacrifice the Trevenant here because it could just be going for, you know, a dragon energy. But if it doesn't KO us, then we might have a shot at this. It ends up withdrawing. Okay. He ends up withdrawing. This could be a really good turn for us at this point. This could be a good turn for us. Ally switch is going to come in hot here. And no, just a bleak wind storm. Wow. Hurts the soul. So I'm able to get off Trick Room. I might Terrasilize Trevin. I think that might be my best bet. And then set up a Leech Seed on the, on the him as well. So I have Trick Room out. I'm going to set up a Leech Seed. And I'm just going to set up a Leech Room here as well. Hope I can land this lychee because this could be, this could be a pretty powerful lychee with harvest going on, with the citrus berry not used yet. And I could have, did I not terrestrialize my trevenant? Did I, did I not terrestrialize my trevenant here? This might be a problem. This might be a problem. I could have sworn I terrestrialized my trevenant. Into that water type. And if we die to Seat Wave, I'm going to be so upset. Cool. Awesome. That works even better. But you get a burn. 
absurd. Absurd burn. That's an absurd burn. We do have Citrus Burn, which is great. Um, Lichi's gonna help us out a little bit here. And I might just want to swap my Screaming Tail at this point. And the reason I want to swap my Screaming Tail is I think we're gonna need uh, more Trick Room in the, in the late game. Who should get a burn on me? I really don't like that one bit. I really don't like that. So I'm gonna actually hard swap into Ursaloon here. Not Trevenant. We're gonna keep Trevenant on the field. And I think I'm just gonna protect here. And yeah, I'm gonna hard swap you into Ursaloon here. Get some tricking turns out. And we'll save Trick Tail to potentially set up another trick in the game. That really sucks. That really sucks. That we got burn there. Burn doing me dirty. Luckily we have Leech Seed out and about, which is huge. They might just go for another heat wave. That's exactly what they're gonna do. And are they gonna bleak when storm on top of that? I mean Ursaluna should be fine with the late screen out and about. Yeah, he's soaking pretty well. The bleak when storm's gonna come out here. Can you dodge this? Ursaluna? I don't want you to take it too much damage here. Nah, you ain't dodging nothing. They take about half. That's fine. I'm cool with that. And he's gonna get some leftovers HP. That's fine. We're gonna take away more from Leech Seed. And I'm hoping I can harvest a berry. I'm really hoping I can harvest a berry. Give me the harvest. Let me harvest one. Let me get a little harvest going on here. Can I harvest the berry? That'd be massive. And we don't, don't harvest the berry. So Heatran potentially could us. Oh, we do harvest the berry. Yes, <laughs> we love harvesting berries. We do get that. I'm just gonna go for a Horn Leech, I guess. I mean, I could ally switch here as well. But I think you just go for the same moves. Hmm. I guess I'll go for a Horn Leech. Try to get back a little bit of HP, but I might just Terrasilize. Just drop a Rock Slide. Would Terrasilize do me any good? No, not really. Let's just drop a Rock Slide here. Let's just drop a Rock Slide. We can potentially get some flinches. We can do some big time damage. I know it's not stab, but it should be able to do enough damage to take out the what's it called? The Tornadus. But Tornadus just ends up protecting. Smart play. Smart play. Double protect. Are we out of Trick Room turns already? Is that the case here? Are we out of Trick Room turns just like that? That can get ugly. That can get ugly if that's the case. There's no way we're already out of Trick Room turns. Only trying to get blocked. And I think we're out of Trick Room turns. I feel like that burn. Or me not Thrasilize really really screwed up my pace. But I think Trick Room is gone. If they're going to double protect, Trick Room's got to be gone here, right? To get back some nice HP. I think I might Thrasilize the Trevenant at this point. Just so it doesn't die out here. Burn's going to chunk us up. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Rock Slide here. And no, we still have Trick Room Turns. Cool. We still have Trick Room Turns. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna Terrasilize you. And I guess I'll just go for Horn Leech here. And I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. So they have a hard read on us. And yeah, I think that's I think that's a fine turn for us. I was gonna Leech Seed the uh, Heatran slot down again. Just in case you want the hard swap. But I think they're just going to stick with the same turn. Just go Heat Wave alongside with Bleak and Storm. But they're wasting out the Trick and Turns really, really well here. A bit too well. But Trevenant ain't getting after. We still have Urshifu and Screamtail on the back end. But both my Trick and Pokemon are out. We'll see what their play call is. There's us, Terrasilizing, getting Trevenant the water type. And so it can actually soak up these Bleak and Storms. And on top of that, soak up these Heat Waves. Which I really like. We have Citrus Berry. I am Burn, which kind of sucks because I am a physical attacker. But I kind of just want Trevenant out on the field just to harvest and get a bunch of Leech Seeds out. We still have Light Screen here. And there's Terror type. Probably from Heat Train, right? I think Grass would come out from Heat Train, right? Yeah. So we're just going to go straight Grass. And Tailwind's going to come out here. Does that take off? Does that take off Leech Seed? That would be absurd if it does. Rock Slide's gonna connect. Beautiful. Big time damage across the board. And Horn Leech is gonna go after you and do about six and a half. Negative six and a half, I should say, damage. And we get back how much? Five HP. That's still five HP. Terror Blast coming in here. Oh, no way. Oh, I thought you read. But that was perfect. 
That was perfect. Ursuline is going to be able to survive, but Burn's going to take us out. And honestly, that's that's big time for us. For him. That is definitely big time. So at this point, I might just bring out Urshifu to sucker punch the... I might just bring out Urshifu to sucker punch the... The Heatran. That could be a good call from us. I'm scared of the Terra Blast. Terra Blast could KO us. Trick Room is gone. Urshifu might have to come out here. Behind screens and everything. Could be solid. Could be solid. They have Tail went up. They do have Tail went up. And I think I might just go for a Protector. And then just Sucker Punch the Heatran. Look to KO it, right? All day. That's an all day play. Unless you're going to protect him. Do I sucker punch you? I might read the protect on the Heatran. Yeah, because we'll be able to soak up whatever Heatran uses. I have a Soul Vest. I have everything. I'm going to sucker punch the Tornadus here. I'm sucker punch the Tornadus. I want this Pokemon gone. I want it out of here. I want it gone. I want it gone. I'm sucker punch the Tornadus. There's no way Tornadus protects. We're kind of hoping Heatran protects here. It'll be a solid turn for us. And it does. That's fine. That's fine, though. Because we take out you, we can soak up whatever shot uh, Heatran has to offer. And we'll go from there. He goes for a Terra Blast, and we get the Protect me. Alright, so that's big. That's big. That's big. We right here. We're going to get back a little bit of HP here. With, uh... With my lovely Leech Seed. And I might try to set up another lead scene. Because I don't think that Terra Blast is going to KO us at the HP that we're at. And I have Light Screen up. And on top of that, I do have Citrus Berry ready to rock. We harvest it. We have a nice big time harvest. So, we'll see who he wants to go into. I definitely want to try to suck a punch in this heat train, right? It might read it and go for Protect. Now he's going to go in the Reggie Draco. Oh, oh that's ugly. We're still going to go for the lead seed on that. Leech Seed and Sucker Punch could be my play. Let's do it. We have Light Screen, like I said. And he ends up with Joel on Heatran. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So, perfect time to withdraw. He's gonna go into Iron Hands, which is a little scary. And he ends up just protecting, so he gets a free Fake Out turn. A free Fake Out turn comes out here. Alright, um... Maybe protect the Trevenant this turn, and swap the Urshfu, save it. Right? Yeah, I feel like I have to. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Well, not Trick Room, uh, Light Screen. We have two. Okay, so that's that's lasting a good bit. I'm going to go for another Leech Seed here. And I'm going to hard swap Urshfu in the Scream Tail. Hard swapping it right in the Scream Tail. This match going crazy. Going, it's a long one. It's a long, drawn-out battle. It's a solid one, but it seems like our opponent has the upper hand right now. We're trying to, we're trying to make a little comeback action here. So I think Fake Out's going to go into Urshfu. The swap in that could be solid. We're protecting Trevenant anyway. Actually, no, we're not. We're uh, going for the Leech Seed here. He does Fake Out the Scream Tail. Dragon Energy is going to fly here. Does not affect Scream Tail. You should be able to soak that up, Trevenant. You do. Beautiful. Lovely. And you're going to eat up a nice lovely Citrus Bone, which is perfect. The real scary part is, does Iron Hands have Heavy Slam? It might. It might. We set up this lead sheet. I might ally. I think ally switch trick room is going to be the player. Kind of reset everything. Have Trevenant get some more berries. Start lead seeding around. Might, might be the play, yo. We're getting back HP, man. We're not playing around here. We're not playing around here. Tailwind's gone. Oh, it's trick room time. Is it trick room time, though? It's trick room time. It's definitely tricky time. I think he has heavy slam. I think he's gonna go after the uh the screen tail slot with that. And he might just We might be fine going or up against this This Reggie Draco. Unless it has Earth Power, because most of the time Most of the time it's rocking like Terra Blast, Earth Power, and Dragon moves, right? For the most part. It could be choice specs as well. But they already use Terror type, so I don't have to worry about like a Steel Terror Blast coming in or anything. I like it, I like it a lot here. 
I'm hoping they just stay in. You know, they end up withdrawing. They don't they don't like the lead sheets here. They simply don't like the lead sheets. They, they just don't like the lead sheets. So Al gonna come Heatran. Al I switch can come out here. We're gonna be able to pop Trick Room. Just lovely. And there's the heavy slam. Good call on our end. Did we harvest a berry by chance? By chance, did we harvest a berry? Can we harvest a berry here? And just eat it right away? I know it's possible. I know it's possible. And it would be lovely if we just harvest up a berry and get after it. It would be perfect. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to harvest a berry, my guy. You're not going to harvest a berry? Don't tell me you don't harvest. You don't harvest a berry. That really sucks. That really does suck. You know what? I'm just going to protect Trevor now. I'm going to hope to harvest a berry here. We need a little bit of HP. We need a tad bit of HP. So I think Jump Luff, or not Jump Luff, <laughs> Jigglypuff, Scream Tail over here is slower than Iron Hands. But we're just trying here. It seems like they have the upper hand. Swapping in and out is pretty perfect. Especially with my Leech Seeds. I kind of needed them. And this battle's just going on for hours. No problem. Trevenant ends up protecting. And bu -bu -bu bump. Wild Charge can come out, which we block. Which we block. We know he wants to go for a Flash Cannon. How much damage does this Dazzle Leech do? Probably like six. Yeah, it just does not nearly enough. We get a crit onto the, uh, onto the, what's it called? This might give us a shot here. I mean, that left it was HP. Massive. Can we get, can we, can we eat up a citrus berry? Can we, can we harvest one? There's the harvest. Nice. Okay, so we harvest the berry. We're going to eat it right away. Massive. They get back to me, too. But we know he's going for a wild charge. I think now it's just going to be the turn to set up screens. I think for sure we set up screens. I think we just set up screens and we and we hope for Earth to clutch it up. We miss our lead sheet, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, but I think he's wild charge or something. We know you heavy slam. We don't need to get off a screen, so lead sheet could have been pretty clutch for us. But he's just gonna tire blast us, that's gonna KO us. Now it turns into this, and Urshifu up against these three is not looking good. And the reason I say that is because we don't have Terra. We don't have Terra type, and he can one shot us with a, with a Dream Punch pretty much, right? Yeah, I don't like that. We do have a Salt Vest, which isn't bad. But just with the Pokemon that he has, it's, it's not looking good for us. Because we can't one-shot Iron Hands. We, we really can't just one-shot Iron Hands. I wish we could, but we can't. We simply cannot. And at that point, Iron Hands just gonna KO us. Maybe he protects Heatran and we get off some big-time turns. But, you know, I'm just gonna go for... Um, I guess close combat would do the most damage. We would need to one-shot him. But yeah, solid, solid match for opponent. We tried making the comeback. It just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. He ends up withdrawing Heatran. So if this one-shots, we would actually have a hot chance of winning this game. But I don't, I, unless we get a crit, maybe. I don't, I don't really see it one shot regardless, but there's Drain Punch. He's back up to full HP. Yeah, we lose this one all day. We lose this one all day. We don't even protect the way set the Trick Room turns, but Close Combat comes out here. And yeah, we, I told you, we weren't one shot. He's too bulky on the defensive side. Way too bulky on the defensive side. But solid match from our opponent. We are one and one. We fought that one hard, but ended up losing. Final match is on its way. We'd love to win this one and grab you guys a winning record. We're going up against a Sneasler team, probably to pair up with Rill Rillaboom with those grassy seeds. And then they're also rocking out with Drifwim, Unburdened Drifwim, two Unburdened Pokemon. And then Heatran, Fluttermane, and Hisuian Zoroark. Okay, so Hisuian Zoroark has Illusion. That could really throw me off. It usually does throw me off. But I think going into Trick Room is going to be very beneficial for us. So I'm going to go into actually in DD first, right? In DD and maybe Trevenant. If I can get off some lead sheets kind of like last match, that could be decent, but maybe I'll just go into like Ursula in here, maybe just protect. Maybe play it simple. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to bring Trevenant alongside with Urshfu. I'm, I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool. Because the reason I'd rather go into Urshfu rather than Torkoal is for the Flashfire Heatran. Just would rather not deal with that. But Rillaboom's looking a little scary, especially if they can get terrain control. That could be a problem. But 
hey, we're one on one. We fought a nice hard match in match number two. So I'd love to win this one and grab ourselves a winner record. But I feel like we did pretty solid in this video so far. Using Trevenant pretty well. So now it's going to come Fluttermane and Driftman. Flutter, Flutter, and Drifty, Drifty. Um, I am going to end up Terrasalizing in the year. Just seems smart for us to actually go into that. Nice little Steel Terror type. Guarantee us getting off the Trick Room. And then I can just drop Rock Slides, right? You can follow me. I can do all that. So Terra, nice little easy protect. Simple turns for us. We get the Guts Trigger. We should be able to get off Trick Room, no problem. Especially with the Pokemon that we're going up against. A Fairy type and a Flying type. Steel Terra. Mwah. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's a good Terra type. It's a perfect Terra type, I should say. Love having it on this indeed. So out comes Steel Terra. Helping us get off the Trick Room. Nice big old axe right through Ndidi's head. <laughs> Iron axe. Steel axe straight to the head. <laughs> and then we just protect. He's going to end up going for a Shadow Sneak. Oh, mmm. We got plans. This is weakness policy on Burden. Pretty cool. I'll give it to you. Pretty cool. It's kind of crazy how it does that uh, the Psychic Turning doesn't take away Shadow Sneak there. Wow, that did absurd amount of damage. That did absurd amount of damage. Perfect terror type, like I said. But I think Shadow Sneak should have taken that away. First turn priority, I guess it doesn't for ally Pokemon. But I like these turns. I like these turns all day. From here, we're just going to go for follow me. And a big old rock slide. A big old sliding of rocks. Terror type was money. That would actually, if we did not Terrasalize there, we would have lost this match all day long. Because they would have taken out our only Trick Room Setter. They would have just been thriving out after that with the Unburdened. Driftblim, who's plus two on attack. He's just been thriving. So he has Unburdened for speed boost, plus two for attack boost, and plus Acrobatics is stab and does more damage. It doubles damage when the Pokemon doesn't have an item, which they already use their item. So that's doing an insane amount of damage. I love that combo right there. They'll end up going for follow me here. They don't end up Terrasalizing, so we just need Rock Slide to hit the Driftblim. Can you hit the Driftblim? You missed the Drift one. That, that's really, that really sucks. And that's Sorok right there. Told you, yo. It throws me off all the time. Hyper Voice going to come out here. I'm able to soak. And Acrobat's going to fly there. So that gives my Ursaluna another chance to KO this thing with Rock Slide. I like that a lot. Gives us another chance here. So Rock Slide will definitely KO Drift one if we can land it. But they have a chance of actually terrestrializing. I would love to go into Earth's food, but I'm going to save that for when Trick Room ends. And I'm just going to go into Trevenant. We're going to go for Rock Slide, and we're also going to go for Horn Leech into, into Drift Blood. And the reason I'm going into Horn Leech into that slot is because in case it terrestrializes, right? In case, say, it terrestrializes into a typing that can just, like, dodge rocks, such as rock typing. <laughs> we can actually be super effective on it. So he ends up going for an indoor. Okay. I feel you. A double indoor. For what purpose here? What's the double indoor for? A little confused. A little confused to double indoor. I guess it's just a waste of some trick and turns. And from here, we just double down again, right? Same turn. Same turn seems nice. I guess I just want to waste out some Trick Room turns. That's cool. If I can pick up double KO, have some Trick Room turns to be able to set up what's called. Need cheats. That'd be lovely. And there it is. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we know he has Fluttermane in the back end. We know you have Fluttermane. And at this point... We can just waste out these terrain turns. Pretty good for our to clean up this match. But yo, that uh, that drift one there, terrifying. Looking, it was looking real scary. Hit my steel type in DD that hard. It's crazy. So answer going into you. They did not use Terra yet. Terra did not come out here. I might just headlong rush the one of you. Might just do that. Speed's gonna get heightened. Let's see how many turns are left in there. Thing. One and one, so a double protect could definitely come out here. Um, I 
I think he's gonna trash on Chi-Chan, I really do. I was gonna double down on Fluttermane. I think he protects, I think he double protects, no problem, yeah. Protect comes out from Heatran, then protects gonna come out from Fluttermane. Yeah, and they're wasting out these tricking turns. So I guess that was the play, to endure the shots, waste out the trick like that. Okay, I understand. I understand. And that actually makes it a lot tougher for us now that we see out this last turn trick room. Hmm. So the real question is, I think we ally switch here, right? And go for the headlong rush into Flutterman, because if I can KO Flutterman, I'll be thriving. He's gonna end up terrestrializing. I think he's gonna terrestrialize the Heatran very soon, correct? Yeah. I'm not worried too much about the Heatran in a 1v1 with Urshfu, because I do a poison jab for that. But I am worried about the Flutterman. I'm kinda hoping it's going for like a moon blast or a single hitting move. So I'm gonna ally switch here. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball. That's huge. Not affecting the Earth's Luna. And a heat wave is gonna fly here. Which Ursaluna should be able to soak. Ursaluna ends up soaking. Headlong rush coming in hot here. And it's KO. And that's gonna wrap up the match. Great play for us. Big time play for us. With the ally switch to dodge some moves. And that's gonna end up winning us the match. Like I said, no problem with Ursfu in the back end. I got poison jab ready to go. I got assault best too. Game set match. You two one for today's video. I love this team. Rocking out with Trevenant today? Trevenant's always so much fun, and his shiny's tough. His shiny's so tough. It's so tough. So yeah, that, that pretty much wraps it up. I don't think he has a move to actually KO us. So a poison jab here. I mean, horn leech, I guess. We can't set up leech sheet on it, and I think they'll just cancel. No, they end up going for heat wave. Don't tell me you burn me. Do not tell me you burn me. And there's still be citrus berry coming in here. <laughs> So there's no point of even ally switching. How much damage is this poison jab gonna do? Half damage, beautiful. Can you poison? No, no poison. Not a poison comes out here. So we deal some nice damage. We could definitely survive another heat wave. Both of them, like guys can. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. And I harvest another berry. Yo, I love you, Trevenant. I love you. So poison jab, another. Only cheer. If you get double crit, I'm gonna be very upset here. And now uh, we're fine. That's game. <coughs> that is game. So we're gonna citrus berry here, and it'll be fun if we harvest another berry and eat it the same turn. But poison jab is not even gonna allow us to see it. There it is. Two and one for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record on the Jeans channel. Absolutely loved using Trevenant on the Regulation E ladder. And more importantly, grab ourselves a 2 1 winning record. We had Pokemon like Ursaluna, Ursaru, and Torkoal to do the heavy lifting of big time attacking. And then Indeedee and Screamtail to pop Turk him and be more of a support role for the squad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.